This video will explain how a client can set up and use a site profile to provide environmental information to CA support when opening a support case. Clients often express frustration that they must always supply environmental information to support when opening a support case. For instance, support usually needs to know the version number of the product, the type and version number of the operating system, and the type and version number of the database. Clients often request that the support organization keep and reference client architectural and configuration information instead of having to supply this information. The problem with this is that support is not aware of changes made to the environment by the clients. The solution, clients can provide and update this environmental information by creating site profiles. Site profiles are created by using the CA Support online website. By creating site profiles, clients can define and associate multiple site profiles to a site ID, they can associate supporting files to a site profile, and they can specify a site profile when opening a support case. To get started, you must first log on to support.ca.com. Once logged in, you click on the site profile link found at the top of the page. Clicking on the site profile link will bring you to the site environmental profile page where you start to create a site profile. You provide specific information about your site profile by clicking on each of the category links on the left side of the screen and enter information about each category in the text box on the right side of the screen. You can define specific information about the name of your site profile, the impact the system has on your business, you can provide a detailed architectural overview of your system, and you can provide critical project dates or freeze dates, just to name a few. Once you've provided all information specific about your system and clicked Save, the system will provide you with a confirmation message. After creating a site profile, you can also associate supporting documentation to that site profile. To do this, you click on the Site Profile Attachments tab. To attach supporting documents to a site profile, you must first upload the file to the system. To do this, you first choose which method of file transfer you want to use to upload a file to a site profile. The thin client is usually used to upload files 2 gigabytes in size or smaller, and the full feature client is used for all others. After you select which file transfer method to use, you then select the files you wish to upload and then click Upload File. Once the file is uploaded, you will see the file listed in the Site Profile Attachment area. Once the file is uploaded to the Site Profile Attachments area, you then associate the file to a specific site profile. You do this by selecting the file you want to associate to a site profile and then click Manage Associations. You are presented with a list of site profiles that have been defined to your site ID. Select the site profile you want to associate this file with and click on Save Associations. Note, you can associate a file to a site profile that you did not create. After uploading and attaching a file to a site profile, you also have the ability to view any attachments associated with the site profile. To do this, click on a site profile name. And then, click on the View Attachments tab. A list of files associated with the site profile are displayed for you. Click on the file to view its contents. Once a site profile has been created, it can be associated with any support case you open. To do this, simply click on the Open a Case link and provide all the information requested. For instance, the product name and version number, a description of the problem, and the business impact. You also specify if you want to use either the Default Site Profile or the Choose from Site Profiles options. If you use the Choose from Site Profile options, the system will provide you with the list of all site profiles associated with the site ID. Once the support case has been submitted, the support engineers reviewing your case will have the site profile information available to them and also have access to the attachments associated with that site profile. 
The result is the use of site profiles eliminates the normal back and forth questions about a specific client environment by simply associating all support cases with an updated site profile.